Hello, welcome to another vlog. I always feel like I'm not gonna like my intros. I feel like I suck so much at them. One thing that I've been trying to work on is not redoing clips. I tend to do that a lot and it gets overwhelming. So I've been trying to just record and just whatever the first clip is, that's what you guys see. And also it's been helping me to not be such a perfectionist with it and just have fun with it and just be myself and show that. So anyways, I really want to make myself this strawberry matcha that I saw. I've tried making strawberry matcha before and I totally failed at it. So I never really tried again until right now that I saw this new recipe and I think I'm going to like it. I have all the ingredients. So I said, why not? And I just want to share it with you guys. Today's Tuesday, by the way, it's 8.50 eight and i went on a long morning walk with Waggy, hence my look i have been trying to aim seven thousand steps a day i feel like it's been pushing me to move my body constantly especially working from home if you work from home or at a desk in an office you know how that is and i feel like it's been affecting my body so i was like i need something that's gonna push me to constantly be moving and i feel like that motivates me because i keep looking at my steps and i'm like okay i'm almost there or if i hit the seven thousand steps i'm like okay i can do more anyways um yeah <laughs> let's do the story of matcha after that i just have to do work nothing interesting and then later on today i do have a photo shoot that i'm gonna do a photo session and miguel's coming with me it's at this ice cream shop that both miguel and i really like and we're probably gonna get ice cream after so i'm gonna bring you guys along and that is about it so let's make the matcha and hopefully i really like it okay i'm just like mashing the strawberry puree on the stove i'm using this bagel pan my smaller one is being used right now and then i'm using my masher for the frijoles so that was a cup of fresh strawberries half a cup of sugar three tablespoons of honey and then i just squeezed a half a lemon in there you mash it and then let it boil for a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and mix it and try it with you guys. And I actually made a lot of strawberry puree, so I have extra for like two more days. Okay. Mmm. It's really good. I needed to mash the strawberries a bit more because I'm getting like the chunks of it, which I don't mind but I feel like they're getting kind of stuck in the straw. We are continuing today's vlog. I did mention earlier that I was gonna go out to do a photo shoot, so um, that is done. I'm actually with Miguel, and we're gonna go get ice cream right now. So I did this photo shoot at this ice cream shop that we both really like, and we came here a day after we moved here to North Carolina. Um, so we got here on a Thursday and then the next day Friday we decided to go explore and we drove here. We had Shake Shack right here. That was our first date here in... Oh, don't want to record him. Sorry. <laughs> that was our first date. Shake Shack there and then the ice cream shop is back here. The couple that I took pictures of, I actually met them here at the ice cream shop. They were in line in front of me. I love how they were being like all lovey-dovey with each other. And I had just finished a session that day and then we came for ice cream. And I was all feeling inspired. I told Miguel after when I grabbed my ice cream, I told him like I really want to ask them if I can take them pictures here at this ice cream shop. It's been like my dream to take pictures at an ice cream shop. So he was the one that told me like, okay. So he was the one that told me, you should ask them, just ask them. So I ended up getting up and asking them because they were having their ice cream really close to us. They were pretty cool. They were like, yeah, let's do it. And we exchanged phone numbers. 
social media and then ever since then we've been in contact and it was so fun capturing them they were so comfortable and so fun so fun in front of the camera so love that let me see if i can show you guys like little previews we did photos at the ice cream shop and also around like downtown area i don't think you guys are gonna be able to see that but there is some there with their ice cream I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you guys want to see these pictures, you guys can follow me on my photography page. Anyways, Miguel actually got off to go to the restroom. Just gonna wait for him, and then we're gonna have ice cream. I can have everybody keep sliding along down if you don't mind. Yeah. I'll do a waffle cone with the lemon and berries, and the brambleberry ice cream we got our ice cream i got brambleberry and a new one that's called lemon and blueberry parfait parfait and miguel got the gooey butter we always get that one that one's our favorite so we got one to take home it's a small slice but i just really wanted to try a new one today so i went with the lemon blueberry one honestly the best ice cream do you like it better than um you know which one i'm gonna say which one? Cold Not Cold Stone. <laughs> yeah, do you like it better than Zonchon? The only one that I like was the vanilla one. Like it's That's really, true. The vanilla one is really good. Which one would I get? Like avocado ice cream, like pistachio. <laughs> I think I do like it better than salt and straw. Out on an evening walk. I thought I still needed to get some steps going for today. But I'm already at 7,462 steps, so I've reached my steps. Stop it. <laughs> We're gonna get a few extra ones, cause why not? this later i got myself ready i'm ready for some coffee right now i am feeling so tired i could literally take a nap right now and i'm sure it's because of that run and then being on on my time of the month i really wanted matcha the story of matcha that i did yesterday but i think i'm just gonna save it for later i'm also thinking of going to the main office they have a lobby area with tables for people that want to do work like people that work from home and I think I'm gonna go there because I feel like if I stay here, I'm going to probably fall asleep. Cheers. Mm, the honey, the cinnamon, so good. I am back home. They didn't have the AC on and today it's at 85 degrees. 86. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's at 86 degrees and I could really feel it, feel it in there. So um, I just wanted to come back home to my AC and I made myself a matcha. So I'm going to enjoy this. Um, I got a few good hours of work and i do have a session in a little bit so i want to relax for a little bit before that i actually did 10,000 steps as well i don't know if that's focusing i'm really feeling it guys today and i think it's mainly because of the two miles that i did this morning i pushed my body to do it at a certain time and then the heat today trying to do walks and all that we are continuing the vlog it's actually a few days later it's not gonna be like that for you guys actually later in the day though it's 1 38 right now i've been just on my computer just editing right now i'm actually going to take a break and do some reading i am reading this book called the maid i actually posted this book and another book on my stories on instagram and i let people vote which book i should read next the other one was the only one left 
or the only one left behind something like that and they're both murder mysteries but the other one seemed to be a bit more of a dark twisted book and don't judge me but i love a good twisted book i like reading and being like what's going on this is too much but i can't stop reading um but i'm pretty sure this one is still a good book i do read a lot on my kindle but i do have a lot of physical books and i've been trying to read those so that's why i decided to pick up one of my physical books real quick this is about a maid she finds a dead man in one of the rooms that she cleans and she is the main suspect i haven't gotten into the part where she is the main suspect but it does say here on the blurb this is all explained in the back so it's no spoilers whatsoever but she is described as someone with a unique personality she struggles with having social skills she has difficulty understanding how things are being said to her how they're meant and she is obsessed with her job like she actually loves cleaning and she's kind of a perfectionist with it it kind of feels like maybe she has autism they haven't said it here on this on the book but it kind of feels like that and she is aware that she's different but sometimes i'm like wait is this part of how, like because of how she is or does she really do something you know does she really mean to do that so right now i'm like wait it could be her <laughs> that did it but yeah it's an interesting book for that reason it's confusing because of her personality how she is i don't know the author knew what she was doing but anyways i'm gonna read for a little bit right now because like i said i've been on my laptop for a while and after that we're gonna walk augie just a quick walk nothing interesting today same same things as always Please do not mind my look. It's actually the following day and it's later in the day so I'm already in comfy clothes. I am trying not to overthink how all over the place this vlog is. I've been just recording random clips for random days and it's okay. We're still going to post it. I actually didn't even share how many steps I did yesterday. I did over the 10,000 steps, I'm going to share a picture here. And I think from now on, I'm going to try to aim for 10,000 instead of the 7,000 steps. Just because I feel like I've been actually getting closer to the 10,000 steps or overpassing it. So that's going to be the new goal. Also, I've been enjoying this book so much. So I wanted to include another little clip in this vlog to finish this book and talk a little bit about this book. So let's do that. I'm about to read the last chapter and I think I know where this is going. I think there's a little twist here. I'm just gonna go ahead and read the last chapter. What? I mean... <sighs> I was not expecting that. finished the book I feel like I need to gather my thoughts because I was not expecting all of that at the end first I was not expecting this book to make me emotional I don't think I've ever had a mystery make me want to cry and it was just a little part towards the end I feel like when you get invested in a book and with the characters and there's certain things that happen to them it touches you you know so i feel like that's why this book made me emotional i just felt invested with the characters and some of the friendships here if you guys read it you guys are gonna understand what i'm saying but also the twists i was not expecting those twists at the end honestly halfway through the book i was like okay this is an enjoyable book i think this would be like a four out of five the ending i just don't want to say anything that's gonna spoil it if anyone reads it but it's a good book and this is an easy five for me i'm going to go ahead and end the video here again i apologize if this vlog was all over the place and also i was not expecting this vlog to end up being a book review which i don't mind it i have been thinking about doing book review videos but it does get me a bit a bit nervous just because i feel like i'm not the best at explaining things but this video did kind of inspire me to give it a try and see how it goes. And I feel like the possibilities are endless with book videos. I could talk about 
my top favorite books top thrillers the books that i've read that month i don't know there's so many options so maybe sometime soon i'll do a book video i don't know we'll see but anyways for right now i'll see you guys next time i hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah i'll just talk to you guys soon